Right now on Moshed Potatoes, we call for the rain. We then interview the one and only Dave Dichter of MDC. That's both right now on Moshed Potatoes. I'm Dave from MDC, and you're watching Moshed Potatoes. What is up? It's your boy Judas Corpse Boy. Yeah, I know, I know. It's been a long time since I posted a video. Well, guess what? Happy Halloween. Hope you're going to do some righteous trick-or-treating. And, well, even though it isn't a Halloween special, it's still going to be pretty fun. Let's get to it. Prayers for the Living is the latest full-length release from Strap on Halo from Seattle, Washington. Now, I had the privilege of catching these dudes live at the Pandemonium Festival in Oakland back in August, and they absolutely killed it. But how are they on this full-length? Well, I'll tell you. Pretty damn awesome. The album starts with the track Call for the Rain. Little Indian chant starts it out, and then it gets to the music. It's a call for nourishment and sustenance, I guess you could say, and it sets the tone for the rest of the album really nicely. The track Chameleon is next. It's slower paced than the first track, but still melds that gloomy gothic guitar work with the lead singer's Susie Sue-esque voice. Not too shabby and something you should definitely entertain. Until the break is the next track, which kind of sounds like a request for, I don't know, pain as pleasure, if you will? BDSM torture? Not sure, but still, goes with the rest of the album very nicely. The whole album is gloomy as hell like a killer goth rock album should be. They've since put out an EP after releasing this album called Altar of Interim, and I think they're on the road right now trying to tour and support it, so if they come to your town, catch them. You got nothing to lose. They're awesome live. As for this album, if you like old school goth like Sisters of Mercy or Skeletal Family, pick this album up. You got nothing to lose and everything to gain. I'm telling you. Links will be in the description for the band, and if you just want to hear it, you can get it at straponhalo.com. We went to Tooth and Nail at Johnny V's in San Jose, California to catch the legendary MDC. While I was there, I brought along my camera and was able to sneak an interview with Dave Dichter, the band's front man. Now normally I have a question and answer format that I do this with, but Dave just kind of stood in front of the camera and was Dave. So I said, the hell with it. I put the whole piece in, unedited from start to finish, we even get a little cameo from a fan who knows him. Well, what can I say? Let's watch. Okay, we are here with Dave Dichter, the one and only from MDC. How you doing, guy? I'm doing fine, man. And you say you had a book that you just wrote you want to talk about? Yeah, it's called Memoirs from a Damaged Civilization, and it's out on Manatee Press, and uh, I put it out, in, uh, they put it out in April, and I've been going around, you know, pumping it and everything else. We're uh, up to about 3,000 copies. We're in the middle of our second print. Uh, took it to Europe this year, 40 dates. Um, Real happy about it. Uh, I started writing two and a half years ago. I was really sick in the hospital. I got I contracted MRSA, taking care of my uh, old, uh, my brother in hospice. He had lung cancer, spread to his stomach and brain, and uh, he had diabetes at the same time. They took off his foot, and he had an infection. I didn't realize it, and somehow I contracted MRSA. It's not really difficult, actually. It's a very contagious, fucking thing, uh, and. Uh, and they had to do three different rounds of uh, antibiotics. They finally get it. I was in the hospital very sick for a long time. Uh, kind of fucked up, uh, you know, just realizing how you can be healthy as hell one day and, you know, think everything's moving just great. And then, you know, just be sick as a motherfucking dog. And uh, it really was just sick as a dog. And I was delirious. Uh, I drank too much water. You know, I, I could see something was going wrong. I was getting weaker and weaker. I started, you know, doing all these naturopathic things. And, whoa, flushed my system, blah, 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 you know. I ended up desalinating the uh, salt levels in my blood, which causes a, uh, 
uh, it caused you to go delirious, actually, and it's uh, very dangerous as well. Uh, my level was 1.8, it should be 3, you know, and, uh, and there I was with Mercer uh, in my inner organs, in the kidney, uh, they sort of sum up in the lung region, and uh, I had to do these antibiotics, and I sat in the hospital pretty much for a month, and then I sat to sit at home for a month and a half after that, all hooked up, uh, getting home nurse care, and uh, and I got better, you know, and I got better. It took a long time. I had to re like, you know, uh, start walking again, and just like oh, just, everything just, just went weak on me. And within about four months, I was able to like, you know, crawl around. I actually played even acoustic on one show, and then within two four months after that, I I, I did a couple electric gigs. And uh, how you doing, man? You know what it is, right? What? What's going on? How are you? What's up, man? I'm fine. Hey, Gregorius. Hey, Gregorius. No, be nice. Go ahead. Come on. Hey, Bubba. How are you? We respect our elders. <laughs> we respect our lords. How you doing, man? You saw that? You saw how that, that looked? Like, it, looked, oh, it was yeah. about to be bad, right? But right. guess what? I know who you are. <laughs> and I respect you. And I love oh, you. Yeah. Cool, man. Cool. Yeah. Can you you be well. Fuck, man, I miss you, bro. I miss oh, We yeah. need you, dude. We hella need you, man. Okay. <laughs> it's not like a used Just to talking about I got real sick and coming back. I'm still not all 100% No, there. I know, but, like, we still love you, bro. Like, all my niggas do. Like, we all respect you and we hella remember you. And you did you did the best you could all the way to the finish. And you held it. And you held it and then you finally, like, chilled. But, like... We thought you were gone, and like right now I'm seeing you, I'm like... Right on, man. I knew it, dude. I knew he never died, nigga. Cool, man. I knew you never lied. I knew you never died, man. I missed you, bro. Well, cool. We love you. you. All right, man. Come back, okay? Okay, what's your name? Gregarius. 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 No, I hear this. Not this. Like the way you told us. Keep it solid, remember? Yeah. Love you, man. Good to see you. Represent. <laughs> die or die destructed. Die or die fucking uninformed. Die or die confused. Who you fucking with? I'm gonna talk to you, bitch. I'm gonna talk to you, bitch. The real deal. Welcome to San Jose. Anyway, um, has the way you write songs changed at it's all? It's kind of cool. Leave them in. It yeah. I'm going to <laughs> you know, I'm definitely going I, to. I didn't know where it was going. I, I didn't I, either. You know, I saw the skateboard. You know, I just, you know, I just went, you know, friend or foe, you know, blah, blah, blah. He, he knows who I am. But, you know, it's a generalized statement. You say, Dave and the yeah, brother, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, just got to flow through it. Everyone's on their different level of uh, being able to deal with shit and wh what they can give out to the universe and all that. But, uh, Happy I did get better, you know. Uh, yeah. I, you know I'm, I'm still about uh, 10, 20 percent down, I'd say. But I've been pumping it out. Uh, we, we're doing 100 gigs this year. We're going to Asia in January. We went to Europe last year. I finally uh, turned the corner last spring and just forced myself, even with a stiff neck and wobbling into the van, I forced myself to, uh, to start playing, you know. And I was get up on stage, you know, and then really use it or lose it. And I, I, I uh, my health started improving, you know, my physical neck and just, you know, how stiff things were, my slip disc and herniated disc in my back and uh, I got scoliosis and all this other long-term shit, you know, that had nothing to do with the Mercer, but being down in the hospital for two or three months kind of freezed up my body. So then, you know, I was just so stiff. It was just so hard to be able to deal with it. But anyway, uh, you know, and in part in that thing, I wrote the book and just said, I'm gonna go out there and just live large tour and just enjoy life as much as I can and uh, here I am in San Jose enjoying life I'm just happy to be alive and, and playing we play San Francisco on a Tuesday night we played uh, knockout uh, that little bar and it was just a great homecoming a lot of old friends and uh, and uh, we're this is the sixth day of a 34 day tour and uh, and, and life is good we're going out to LA play a big festival with, Total Chaos and Casualties and a bunch of other bands and um, good to be alive, just good to be making music, you know, uh, 
it's always been good to be alive. I've never disappreciated life. I mean, I did a little when I was a drug addict and blah, blah, blah. And that's 16, 18, 20 years ago. But, um, but you know, enjoy every day, you know. Uh, find what you love and live it and, and, you know, and fucking, you know, get out there and do it. Follow your bliss, all that good shit, you know, Joseph Campbell's been saying. And, uh, and you know, and just uh, be happy with what you are. Don't let other people tear you down. And, you know, and just celebrate life as best you can because you get one skinny-ass little life. You know, be with the people that make you feel good. Do the things that want to make you feel good. Try to be honest to yourself because that's ultimately where, you know, freedom is, you know, is being true to yourself. You know, don't wait till you're 80 years old to decide, you know what, I'm a bisexual, you know, whatever, you know, uh, you know, snorkeler or you know who loves to swim with dolphins or, you know whatever find find it out before you get old i know it's tough there's so much pressure to survive and you know earn a living and everything else i've been pretty charmed at that not that we make fat money at mdc but you know they feed us to get pay us to get down the line and in my simple life you know i don't need a, a hell of a lot uh i just gave up my truck uh you know i had insurance to say you know i'm not even using it you know like I don't, I don't need my truck, and uh, I just kind of realized over the last two years how much you didn't need it. And uh, just make life simple and good for yourself. Enjoy it. And I'm a real car truck person. I grew up in Long Island, New York. Man, it was so important when you're 16, 17, you get that first vehicle, freedom, blah, blah, blah. And I really realized how much, uh, uh, you know, automobiles and trucks give you that freedom. And I was able to sleep in the back of my camper shell, and that was always cool. But... I let it go and uh, enjoy life, everybody. That's what I'm saying. And no Trump, no KKK, no fascist USA. You know, I had a whole bunch of questions, but you know what? I think you just answered every one of them plus. Yeah, I'm voting. I'm going Hillary. Uh, not telling anyone what, what what to do, just what I feel comfortable doing. And uh, I think Donald Trump is dangerous. You know, I, I think just just that make kids feel depressed about being Muslim about being Mexican, about being any minority because they don't fit in, you know, Donald Trump's worldview of what makes America great. Uh, it's just so sad, you know? I mean, it's just thinking that some kids got to worry about going to school, you know, where there's 28 other white kids in the class and there's two or three other people that feel different. And uh, part of what I got in punk rock is, you know, I felt different, you know? And I think it's what brought a lot of us here you just feel unlike uh, my sexuality, just the way I was. I grew up in a single parent home back in the 50s and 60s, and, you know, uh, where, you know, it was a lot more, uh, you know, like the, like leave it to beaver kind of, uh, you know, world. And I, I remember just feeling very self-conscious, you know, I'm parenting, I never had a father come and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, enjoy life, everybody. Just give yourself a break. It's not your fault. You know, uh, just live every day. Try to be free and good yourself. That is going to be it for this episode of Mosh Potatoes. Once again, happy Halloween. Trick or treat your heart out. And be sure to visit some haunted houses for charity while you're at it. All links will be in the description as far as my Patreon page, my Facebook page. And also, I would like to announce the one, the only, the mine, Mosh Potatoes Radio. That's right. Broadcasting back-to-back -back punk, goth, and industrial 24-7. The link for that will also be in the description box. Once again, I've been Judas. You've been awesome. Good night and catch you later. Happy Halloween.